Thank you, sir, for your passion and commitment to this cause. I'd like at this time to introduce uh, actress Miss Penny Little making a statement. Penny Little. I'm Penny Little. I'm an artist, a filmmaker, and a musician. My film, 9-11 Dust and Deceit, exposes the problems caused by the misrepresentations of various individuals in the agencies in New York and Washington in the aftermath of 9-11. They covered up the fact that the dust from Ground Zero was extremely toxic. There was and has been little consideration for this collateral damage caused by the ongoing chemical attack on the people of New York in the form of the toxic dust. The first responders, the volunteers, the police, the firemen, the workers, these were the heroes of 9-11 and they were lied to and now thousands are sick and hundreds have died as a result. This is a crime and it's still in progress. The evidence reveals government cover-up lies and obvious problems with the story of 9-11, which was sold to the public through the mainstream corporate media. But it doesn't stop there. The dust, which was pulverized into very fine particles, has been found to have nanothermite in it. Nanothermite is a state-of-the-art, high-explosive composite with incendiary properties. Its presence implies that the WTC buildings were brought down on 9-11 by some means other than what the official story claims. There are too many questions about 9-11. The answers to these questions may be the master key to stop an agenda to wage illegal wars, rescind our constitutional rights, and their fast track to global corporate hegemony. The citizens of the US, the citizens of the world deserve better. The victims of 9-11 deserve better. We need a real investigation with true subpoena power into the lies of 9-11. Thank you. Did you do your thing? Thank you, Penny. And now my pleasure to introduce actor Jim Haney. Uh, hi. I don't have a story, so to speak, but uh, I, uh, I woke up that morning uh, to a phone call from a friend of mine. And uh, she said that uh, those bastards are blowing our buildings up. And I said, what are you talking about? And then I went and turned on the TV and I started seeing uh, the buildings drop at what we call uh, free fall. Uh, has to do with gravity. And uh, I've seen a lot of controlled dem demolition on TV. I think we all have over the years. You know, when you do a, a movie or something, they try to take advantage of it and put it in their movie. And uh, you see things like that where the buildings crimp a little bit and then they just go boom all the way down. Well, that's what I saw and I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's, this airplanes don't do this. And then I hear later that no skyscraper ever has fallen, no steel structure has ever fallen uh, due to fire or being hit by an airplane. So my uh, BS meter went off, and then later on I saw this other almost pristine building. Nothing happened to it. Uh, what building? Building number seven, right? <laughs> it's some 40 stories tall, 47 or 48 or 49, something like that, and you see it crimp in the middle and then just fall straight down. That doesn't help without, that doesn't happen without help. And uh, I think a lot of us know about thermite and how they cause uh, uh, controlled demolition. They wrap a piece of, uh, of thermite ar around, around the, the uh, steel structure 
and or an I beam or whatever, and they do it every incrementally, right from top to bottom, and then it's all radio control, and they blow up, and they, and it causes them to slip this way because it's on an angle. They slip down like this, and it all comes to the middle. It's very neat, very simple, but uh, we got a rather non uh, simplistic uh, idea also from the NIST which uh, also my BS meter went off on. So I think if we could just get people to pay attention and uh, look at 9-11 Truth, had just 911truth.org, look at it. There's lots of stuff there, lots of people like these here behind me. And we all know something went wacko that day. And we got our suspicions about how it got there. But I think we could find out if we could get more people on board. We just have to get Americans. You know, I told some people yesterday, I was working downtown and I told some people some stuff about this, and they didn't even know that Building 7 fell down. They didn't even know. Well, we gotta do better. But we also know that the, uh, that the um, media is not doing its job. But we, we've got to get our friends and neighbors on board. We gotta, you know, email, tell them about it, tell them about it, get it out there. And you know, every 10 people that send it to 10 people that send it to 10 people, one day we're gonna make a difference. All right, folks, I appreciate it. Hang in there.